What up, bitches? How you doing? How you doing, Demarcus? Tommy? Trivium? Zarya? <laughs> so I'm still uh, very, very uh, thoughtful of how to pronounce your name, you know that? I'm very thoughtful. Oh, man. Hey, Karen. Random. Why, I mean Tommy on the grind. How you all doing today? Do you like the thumbnail? I thought it was funny. I get I get so bored of saying that, like how I make my thumbnails. Sometimes I'm just like, ah, I'll, I'll spice it up a bit. You can't spell Z's name for shit. I know. <laughs> OP thumbnail. Oh yes. Oh yes. But you never asked Tommy. <laughs> Be your Laura. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? How's the queue times today? You like the thumbnail? It's better than what I could make. <laughs> Dude, I spend I spend a lot of time with uh, on Photoshop, but you know, there's only so many images from the game I can use. So I was like, ah, I'll see if there's some cool posters from like Ash vs Evil Dead or something. So I just played around with that a bit. Hey, old Tizzy, how you doing? Super gnomed. How you guys doing today? This this lovely fine Wednesday that's windy as shit outside. I'm on the big screen again, Chad. Let's go. I brought back my Evil Dead emotes, but I kept some raccoon ones as well. So we have the uh, the Rip and the Hype emote back. We also have the Homelander back too. I got off stream last night and it was really warm outside. 45 minutes last night waiting to get into a game. Holy shit, that's bad. Oh, happy birthday, Autizzy. Hope you have a good one, man. Get all the birthday goodies, all new games. <clears throat> Tell you what, there's a lot of new games coming out this year. Resident Evil 4 Remake. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Dead Island 2. Dead Space Remake's out at the end of this month as well. Fucking Suicide Squad's out this year. There's a lot. Texas Chainsaws out, Killer Clowns. Finally gonna have a year of um, some decent games, I think. Last year was a bit mediocre. Now fighting. This was my favorite game that came out last no year. Fucking fighting. Yeah, HBD. Happy birthday, Demarcus. Get with the program, man. Why did your Tommy command play so late there? What the fuck? Streamlabs taking a big old dookie. A big old dookie. I ended up playing two games last night. The second I wound up screaming at a Prestige One Pablo that doesn't know how to give warriors amulets or how to use shems. <laughs> That's the sad thing about Pablo though. Doesn't look like he does a lot, but. You know, he's mainly dropping amulets for the team or using them. But on the scoreboard, it shows that he doesn't do anything as well. You need to be everyone's punching bag. Good. I need to give someone a thump. Good old thumping. Evil Dead Rise trailer today. I watched the teaser last night. Looks. Uh, I hope they keep the comedy aspect to it. And it's not like the Evil Dead remake. But, you know, they kind of took the comedy away from it. Just finished working out for the first time in forever. I'm dead. I know. To be honest, I need to quit smoking and just like also start like going on walks and 
Maybe he's doing some stretches and stuff. Because my body is just fucked at this point. We need a squad for Suicide Squad. I was going to get it on PlayStation, but I'm going to be playing it on Xbox, I think. Eh, it's so, it, it wasn't much of a teaser, to be honest. I mean, well, it is a teaser. It wasn't much of a trailer or anything, so there wasn't much interest in it. Red Band trailer today, yeah. How am I today? I'm, I'm alright, I say. I'm, I'm alright. I've been taking it easy this morning, just doing fuck all, really. Why I, lad? I get bored waiting to come on to stream sometimes, though. I'm like, I just want to go down stream and play games. I'm just sitting around waiting. It worked out yesterday after stream and I couldn't even sit up afterwards. Rip. And you get some, get them sit ups, you know, work them abdomens. Abdominals. Why I mark this lad. I think that gives me hope for that movie is the director has been a fan of the franchise since he was nine years old. Yeah. Hopefully it's something good. And hopefully we see some cameos at least as well. Squatting up on Suicide Squad. I'm Harley Quinn, man. Hands off. <laughs> Told you, you need to be polishing that double barrel sitting on your front porch, Demarcus. Go, go full hillbilly, you know. Ash got to make a cameo. I don't think he will. I think we might see maybe it's Kelly or Pablo or even Mia. Because I'm pretty sure it's the same logo from the remake, isn't it? You dibbing the boomerang, man. Captain Boomerang, OP. Yeah, I think it, I think it will be random, to be honest. You used to have a treadmill. I've got like really long paths I could go for a run if I wanted to go for a run, but I, I've never been the type to go for runs or anything. <clears throat> I used to be quite a, I used to be quite a fit person, me. Like how much I used to how much exercise I used to do was crazy. Now I just sit my ass, smoke, and play video games. To be honest, I do I do a lot of work around the house. It probably just keeps me fit enough. <laughs> yeah, well, I have a... You know what it is, right? I got a dog. I got a puppy, and... I was like, oh, I can't wait to walk him in that. But ever since, like, when he got the ability to walk, like, after he had his injections and stuff, I never walk him at all. Like, I walk him now and then, but... Because the weather, like, I got him at such a bad time, to be honest. The weather just went to shit. And it's just so fucking cold outside and shitty wind and rain. And it's just, yeah, been terrible winter, to be honest. You can just never be asked to go out, really, you know. Having a storm today. Picks the house. I am. I am the house. I'm like a house husband, mate. <laughs> Stay at home dad is what I am. Mo, like last night, I was. I literally got out the fucking carpet cleaner, cleaned the carpet. Twenty to ten last night because I had to. Because the fucking dog pissed everywhere for some bizarre reason. He's a little shit for doing that. And the cat spilt tea everywhere. I was drinking a cup of tea and the fucking cat jumped on the table and jumped off the table and knocked my tea everywhere. So I fucking clean all that up as well. Gonna order another cold chocolate from Starbucks. I bet it's I bet it's hot where you are though, I sir. Dish bitch every day, that's me. It sucks. <laughs> I do, I do the dishes quite a lot in here, to be fair. I like, I like keeping things clean though. I don't like having a messy house. I've got one dog, 
um, who's five months old. I've got three cats, and I've got two fish tanks. So the, the <laughs> it's like a little zoo in here, and that keeps me busy, to be honest. You buy paper plates? Evil hey, why not? To have a really bad Holy shit, day. the insta-lock. Name's Ash. <clears throat> House workers. I appreciate the vote of confidence. I'll do my best. Nah, I don't have a dishwasher. I used to have one in my parents' house, but because there's only me and Laura in the house, there's no point really. Time to party like it's just wait, wasting water at that point. I don't mind ago, sitting doing the dishes. The only bad thing is, is like, everything's all messed like the top of my back. Oh, doing dishes fucking kills because I'm like hunched up because I'm quite tall, so I'm like hunched over the sink like that. I'm like, oh man. I gotta play a Pablito. Someone insta locked my uh, my leader, Ash. <laughs> the game update, I can choose Amanda now. Stretching is very important. I've got a ring fit for the Switch. I've never played it. Oh, do you like the Baba Yaga poster on the wall? It's cool, isn't it? I've got... A, they're disc plates, so they're metal. They're really cool. Um, I've got a Constantine one there, and I've got the John Wick one here. I've got to get some more at some point. I've got to get some Evil Dead ones, because there's some cool Evil Dead ones. This is Professor Raymond Noby, Department of Ancient History. I know now that nothing can remedy the atrocity I've unleashed, but I believe I can stop it. Follow these instructions. Have you never noticed that my displays? Um, the first thing you will require is a map. They're quite expensive to get, but uh, Laura got me them for Christmas. The pieces of this map are I think when I get nearby, paid this month, I might buy one for myself. Get an ash one. I can see why Hippie likes these. Banishing the dark one light at a time. Used to do cool Pokemon ones, but they stopped doing them because uh, copyright, I think. The first piece of the map has been found. But they've got some Continue really cool, like Mandalorian and Disney ones, and you know, Marvel ones and stuff like that as well. Basically, almost anything you can think of, they do a display it for. Obviously, not Pokemon though. They got some Stranger Things ones there, but they're like they're like thirty pound each, so they're quite expensive. I was surprised how big they were. I thought they'd be a lot smaller, but um, I think they're worth the money. Tastes like a fuzzy. Open season on evil. We fully kitted out on shield, ready to kick some ass. Mm, I might go for the sledgehammer actually. I wish I had my rusty chain, yo. Yeah, I have to play Pablo because someone insta lock lead ash for some reason so <laughs> playing happy though they like these Ooh, shovel this takes me back <laughs> bone saw what's up man I don't think I ever relinked my my chase command when I been when I upgraded my PC. Your group is making progress against the dark bone spirit. Bone saw is ready. Time. I don't think I've got my bone saw command linked up. Sure has a kick to it. <laughs> I'll bring it back. Don't worry. If you stick around to the end of the game, I'll relink them. Just uh, I upgraded my PC and all my sound commands like got all messed up. Because one of my hard drives like changed the location, so it like unlinked everything. I only linked a few of them. I know I haven't seen Bone Saw in ages. How you doing, man? It has been a hot minute. It's 
been it's been about seven oh, months or something since you last in the stream. <laughs> Why max out fear first? Uh, it's more so just something I don't have to worry about. Like when I get on objectives and things, I'd rather not worry about my fear Where's that much. Also makes me a little bit harder to be possessed once I'm doing objectives in case I have a 1v1 scenario. Since Pablo is a support that doesn't have any fear reduction for himself, so it makes sense to have a little bit of fear resistance there. I have a lot of callers. Oh, saying that, I have five. Probably just could do with one more, though. <laughs> you like the thumbnail? Busy, life, relationships, alcohol, passion, defeat. <laughs> Some tags that you can live by, bone so. I got this. What are you playing these days, bone so? Final piece has been collected, making the map whole again the Delta. and revealing the whereabouts of the Kandarian dagger and the lost pages of the Necronomicon. What was that base boosted noise? <laughs> I, I just want the devs to wake up in general, never mind this month. That they took a big, big fat nap when the game came out. You haven't been gaming much? How could you do that, Tyler? He'd be gaming more, man. Gaming his life. Yeah, <laughs> balancing will never be existent in this game as long as RNG persists. Okay, look at that aim assist, pulling my aim away from the floor. It's, oh my god, man, that's bad. Team has awakened the Why is my camera agents, shaking like crazy? Striking terror into the black heart of evil. Expect resistance. Pablo's fun to play. Very laid back character. Drop some amulets over here. Come <laughs> on. 
shit. You a carnage, man. You have procured the lost pages of the Necronomicon. The power of the book is <laughs> Pablo that drops amulets. Interesting. Oh, yes. There you go. I only use the amulets on myself while I'm looting, or if there's like a, an evil ash like I did there, because obviously Tommy got hit off evil ash. He's going to have a heal block. So it makes more sense to. Um, the cameraman got some bad arthritis. Not like Parkinson's. Fucking shaking like that. Um, it makes sense to pop the amulets because of the heal block. Yeah! Devs are going to add another five prestige levels. Oh, oh please no. Please no. Please and this would have been a good game to collect some pink fuck on my leader. Maxed out. Hey, Sab, how you doing? I, the only character I forget I have an ability on sometimes is... Um, is Evil Dead 1 Ash. Like, I always forget about his. Why aren't I 800 miles away from the team? Yeah, I should be. Blacksmith's mid. Oh, when things are hectic, those are the best times to use his ability. When there's a, a big crowd of skeletons or something. Never seen this gameplay from a Pablo before. <laughs> I'm a decent Pablo player. I mean, I'm not a great support player at all. Like, I just, it's pretty easy shit, to be honest. Like, avoid getting, avoid getting attacked most of the time. And just spam special moves and throw out resources for your, for your players, your team members. You're next to die. I keep trying to drop one of my amulets, but stop doing shit here. Let's do it. The Kandarian dagger is nearly yours. Summon Where are you guys at? What the fuck he is doing? I can't get up there. <laughs> Skeleton is just chilling up here though. Let's do it. Definitely need a let's do it command. Thank you. 
got two amulets for you there, Tommy. I don't know what that necromancer did. It's just he's gonna snipe me. Nice. The living have seized the Kandarian dagger. You are one step closer to defeating the spirits of the book. I want you to become a thing of flesh. Both the lost pages and the Kandarian dagger have been collected. Uh, I don't know if it makes them invisible to AI, just from the demon vision. To battle the dark ones. The devil is always waiting. Shadows. Always room for amulets. <laughs> well, he wasn't bothered by me. I seen he went to the target someone else. I was just like, oh, well, I'll go back on the objective. The Delta. Imagine using your eyes against Pablo. Pablo's OP, man. You getting a call from your boss? Gonna make you uh, go into work. <laughs> yeah, tell you, tell your boss. Chat said hi. <laughs> Four days into New Year's and still no update on the update. Yeah, like like I said, that they probably be on a break, like over New Year and stuff. So they'll probably be back next week or towards the end of this week. Don't have any matches, bro. Whoa, take a look at this. Can't even grab that. <laughs> the possessed delta was OP. Don't care how it tastes if you fight. Dodged at the wrong time, man. I can't believe this game exists. It's so incredibly visually. Most of its gameplay, but please say we give it love. Who deserves it? It does, though. That's why I said this game has such great potential. And they've done a, like a decent job of kind of re recreating the whole Evil Dead stuff, but it's disappointing to see how lackluster Saber's treating it as well in terms of updates. I'm glad it exists, because I'd rather not be still streaming DVD right now. Get 
hit the floor as Got him. Don't have like any longer ammo. The breach, unless it is destroyed by the demon, protect it. This leader actually used an amulet on himself like a Chad. Let's go. Eh, it's not a waste, but if you do a machete build, you definitely have to put in a fear resistance, otherwise you're gonna fuck your teammates up. <laughs> you were lucky there. I couldn't I couldn't heal you guys because of the heal block. Uh, that, that was a pretty long queue time. I think it took us about 10 minutes. Uh, the thing is those sabers held back a lot of content from launch from this game. With the recitation of the passage. The physical manifestation of this dark spirit has been damn ten thousand heal, my Pablo. Let's go. Uh, you wanted to test the metal of man? I'd say we passed. A fun Pablo all game to start the stream off. Ugh. There's no power in pizza. Of course, there's power. What are you talking about? Yeah, if you're going to do a machete build on uh, on Mia, make sure you go for your resistance, so that way, if you get possessed, you're not totally fucking up your teammates. Hush, Jack. <laughs> what is Saber waiting for? Well, I've looked in the game files, okay? And there's a lot of shit that was added to the game. Like, Amanda's second outfit for a start. There's, you know, the demon spawn. Um, for Baal and all that. That's in there with animations too. Um, if you go, it's it's weird how it's labeled, but, <clears throat> but for characters that have multiple outfits, right, just say um, Army of Darkness Ash. So Army of Darkness Ash will have his base skin in one folder, and then he'll have a separate outfits folder, and then it'll have outfits one, two, three, and four. With, with Leader Ash, he has a base outfit, and then he has an outfit folder, but his funeral outfit's classed as outfit two. So it's labeled like it's a like there's a there's an outfit missing for him as well. Like that should there should be an outfit one there, but that doesn't exist. <clears throat> so there, there's a lot of uh, cut content from this game, I think. That all stuff that they've been waiting to add for a while. <clears throat> They're carefully cooking up an absolute disaster. Uh, but like I said, the next update's going to be fucking huge, so... What I was told. It's going to be the biggest update yet for the game. 
So I'm, I imagine we're going to get a lot of shit added to the game. Hopefully we get a new game mode like Horde mode or something as well. That'd be fucking hype. Because, you know, if you get shit queue times on PvP, just hop in the Horde mode. Grind some spirit points in there as well. That'd be nice. Still waiting for your cold Starbucks chocolate. Hope they do more prestige changes or extra spirit point gain events. Because there's no way in hell I get everybody P1 by the end of the year. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> I would have enjoyed a crumbled note that has coming soon on it. <laughs> Army of Darkness cosmetic packs, then Ash vs. Evil Dead. Here's more Army of Darkness stuff for the game. I'm telling you now, I really feel like they're going to be dropping a horde mode. Relatively soon for the game. <clears throat> I hope it's not really basic where it's just like 10 waves and then like the deadites are really fucking easy to kill. Like I hope it's really difficult. You know it, spawn it spawns like three bosses at once. Like Henrietta, Evil Ash and Elagos all come together. Like I hope that's what the horn mode is. But it's just, it's really difficult to get through. But if you get through it, then it's like a million spirit points as a reward or something. If Ash doesn't get the finale skin, what other skin would you want for him? Jacksonville, Asylum Ash. To be honest, any. Like, the Hardware Emporium one would be good. Value Stop Outfit. Any Shems in Horde mode, you think? Yeah, like so I'm saying, like if, if if even if you have like a support character or something as well, like still keep the classes the way they are, but they need to make it quite difficult, especially if it's going to be like close quarters combat in the cabin or like a section of the castle that you have to defend. But as as I've said previously, like months months ago, they they were working on another game mode that wasn't a horde mode as well. What I was told. So there, there's still there's there's stuff coming, but it's like I, I wish they would give everyone a roadmap so I could actually talk about it as well in a bit more detail than what I do. How you doing, L? Mr. OP Pablo carries that game. Yeah, I mean, I I wish... I said that. I wish the Horde mode would be a PvP as well. Like, so you could do the AI version or you can do it as a PvP mode where the demon has to, like, break into the cabin or something or break into the castle. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, so I think we're built... So we the Horde mode... I was thinking, like, if they made Chet or if they brought a new character to the game, they could do a new class, like a technician class, that would fit around Horde mode. I think that would be cool. You know, where they could put, like, um, what's the right word? Well, turrets, I suppose, but, like, not proper turrets. But just so they could throw turrets out, they can do, like, little damage over time as well. I think that, that would be really cool. <laughs> Add an MP5 and call it a year. MP5 of extended mag. Yeah, like, like Battlefront, yeah. The Battlefront horde mode. Turrets with aim assist. <laughs> That's what they should do, though. But don't make the turrets, like, really overpowered or anything. Like, just make it so they... You know, they drain a little bit of health off the targets, you know. What up, Robert? How you doing, man? Battlefront 2 is a great game now. I used to stream Battlefront 2 on Twitch. There's something used to actually get quite a lot of viewers on that. King, baby. I wasn't great at Battlefront 2. It was just a nice, chill game to play. <clears throat> yeah, doing the catapults and stuff like an Army of Darkness, that would be really cool. 
I said the, the game's got potential there. Just it's, down, it's up to man. the devs not to make it too simple. You know, you can't really just make a horde mode where it's like three skeletons spawning out of a portal every time and then, you know, five survivors fucking them up. Like, they really need to make the horde mode, like, really difficult. Where, you know, one portal spawns or a portal where, like, continuous amounts of deadites come through. Like, I don't understand why that's not a thing as well. I mean, to be honest, that should be in the fucking PvP. <clears throat> You're begging Pablo is in the trailer today. Back from your four-hour nap, like, end me. <laughs> Get a coffee down, you lad, and some chocolate. Got more movie scenario. Yeah, like, the Evil Dead 2 mission at the start was pretty cool. Like, it felt like you were play playing in, like, Evil Dead 2 a bit. It was really, really fun. <laughs> yeah. Ka Kandar the Destroyer, and we all in tanks trying closely. to kill him. <laughs> Professor Raymond Noby. The demon level? Steps, uh, 545. Oh, Legendary crossbows of dead. pieces of a map hidden nearby. Gather them to ascertain the location of the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kendarian dagger. You'll need them. The right tool for the job. I got me an axe. Death Coaster? Oh, yeah. I'm saying that there is just so much potential they could add. It's it's always up to the developers and the IP holders, though. I don't... I, personally, I don't think they're ambitious Either enough for this game. First. I don't think they have the ambition to take it forward the way it needs to go. It just feels like they're doing the bare minimum right now. Even though I know there's quite a lot of content coming, it's just bare minimum between those updates. Like I said, I don't understand why that when the game got announced or be before launch, they were like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna be uh, focusing on balancing the game a lot, um, and we don't, and that won't require anyone to do an update because you know all the damage numbers is done server side." And I'm thinking to myself, like, oh, this is going to be fucking awesome, you know? It's not going to be like DVD where we're waiting weeks and weeks to, you know, fix a, a broken weapon or something. But, you know, that happened in the game where we waited fucking ages for them to break, um, to fix the broken blue hunting rifle. You know, where that was, had like 255 balance bar damage. But yeah, all that stuff should have been done a lot faster with the way they said they had the game set up. Where they do everything server-side. Exactly the why this game's going downhill. A small but strong step forward. Three 100k damage games in a row with Mia. Uh, OP. For you, Chet. Mia, Mia the Beast. gonna watch Evil Dead Rise in the movies. Laura on Night Shift. She has been. She's off today though. I'm gonna go shopping with her after my stream so sadly my stream's gonna be a bit shorter today because I have to go food shopping. I have to get off around 6 so it'll only be about a 4 hour stream. Fucking amulets everywhere man. I wish I was playing Pablo still. Alright, Bone so I'll see you, man. Have a good one. Till the wheels fall off. I'll make sure I've got my sound files linked again for when you come back in. <laughs> food is overrated, Pix. What the fuck? <laughs> Need food to survive. Can't be wasting away just playing Evil Dead like, you know, some people do. <laughs> How many DVD friends are excited for Evil Dead Rise? Who the fuck said that?
I think there should be a different end game for every demon besides Book, such as blowing up Evil Ash. That would be fun if they did that. But yeah, I just, the whole end game element to this game just it's very anticlimactic, I guess. Like they could have done something so much more intriguing to end the game off. I mean, it feels shit to lose to boot phase, but even like if you lead up to the boot phase, I still have fun regardless. Like that that phase for me is just the most unfun part of the game. War Daddy equals War Nuts. Yeah, well, with Plague Ring, I thought they did a nice thing where they had, like, the second phase. So, you know, if we kill Henrietta, she should have a second phase where she has the long neck. An admirable effort, but there is still much to 100%. Die. And Evil Ash should have a second phase where he's, like, just a skeleton, like, at the end of the movie. I got a bone to pick with you. You don't feel upset losing the book phase. I don't I don't feel upset, I just think it's she. Like it's just a, a shit way to end the game really. <clears throat> it's like oh what? Yeah, I'm on my way now. That's it. Game over. Like if I lost the game to the fucking an actual dark one that's attacking us or or something, then you know it wouldn't feel as feel as bad. Buckle up, bonehead. Real survivors know that you win doing the dark one, so. Well, I hope you get your vitamins. It's time to dance. Time to dance. Ah, till the wheels fall off. People in your area call the police the filth. There. Now you can see how <laughs> filth's <fast>. coming. <clears throat> uh -huh. Medication time. I think there is a chest over here that I missed. Yeah, exactly, Trivium. They should have just kept it like that, too. Uh, there wasn't a crate over here. I was right. Just made the Dark Ones a little bit tougher, and that would have been the perfect endgame. <clears throat> Let me get that heal off. That was all kinds of messed up. <laughs> They're not taking boot phase out of the game. They will. There's way too many complaints about it on both sides, man. <clears throat> yeah, rework the dark ones, obviously. Like I said, they need to get rid of um, being able to resurrect people during the dark ones phase as well. Demons complain about boot phase. A lot of the ones I've spoken to, yeah. They just find it boring. The heroic survivors have gathered the final piece of the map. 
Make haste to the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kendarian Dagger. Let's do this with the lights on. They say fuck it, egg and all the complaints. <laughs> I typed up like a whole essay that I said that, um... <clears throat> I typed up a whole essay to boss team games that send it over to Saber as well. About shit they should add to the game and what they should be doing. <clears throat> Where did you hear the mystical tale of survivors getting a huge no? Most survivors got nerfed during the prestige shit. For us to just grind them back up to what they were like before prestige as well. Except we get extra skill points on top of that. Exploits. Didn't know there was any exploits on Survivor anymore. Steal yourself for battle. Body block, man. What the cars? What? You never saw a guy with a chainsaw hand before? I just hit him and it did no damage to his bounds, but or at all. Blocking cars is not an exploit. against a warrior Henry that dodges like a hunter. I played a Scotty the other day that kept dodging quite a lot, but I just assumed that he put that in his skill. Like in his skill tree. Awful Dodger 3 3 on Warriors OP. Survivors now hold the lost pages of the next. They should get rid of dodging in this game. And just add a block system or something. You can get three dodges with a warrior. Um so you can get two and then like a second later you get another one, but that's it really. Yeah, I, I said that at uh, Caddy, stop destroying my library. <laughs> Keep dodges for hunters though. Mm. I don't know. There's a definite art of dodging. <clears throat> I mean, you can put 
I know what he means though, like you have more of the opportunity to put points in there off the dodger on Warrior now. Not my first rodeo. But you know, most metas wouldn't be to put three three out of three in artful dodger on on Warrior. They just announced Horde Mode XL and World War Z. Finally! When's it coming? Did they give us a release date? <laughs> Most people don't until they get the extra points. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the meta would not be to put the 20, spending 25 original skill points in the awful dodger. It's something you would definitely put in after. You have activated the Tendarian dagger. All manner of evil spirits will sense their imminent doom and attack accordingly. You're welcome. January 24th, <laughs> and that was supposed to be out in summer last year. <laughs> oh, good lord, man. What a save I do. Yeah, I know. I don't know why he's doing that with the basic unit so much. <laughs> Evil Dead Horde mode January 24th, 2024. <laughs> Imagine. The hell just hit me. Confused. I just got hit off a ghost. of the Kandarian dagger. Many have perished protecting this artifact. Okay, Cheryl, now let's banish evil. You now possess the lost pages and Kandarian dagger and must face the dark ones. I wish you the best of luck. Depends who you're playing, Azel. Did I get hit from my own gunshot? <laughs> I don't know, I clipped it. I literally don't know what hit me there. I was very confused. Being locked in Fort Gort Tower Room. Oh yes. Love that. You get back to hell, practice your aim. I know when I when I play a demon I never chase after the cars. I always just go and trap hey, the fuck out of my objectives. And that and the surrounding area of it. The weirdest necromancer use of basics I've, I've ever seen. 
Yeah, I have no idea why he's doing the sprint attack on me, like over and over again. Not my first rodeo. Catching me off guard a bit. He's got me a couple of times of it. Why? You never saw a guy with a chainsaw hand before? You do the kickback when the demon possesses a survivor. It's literally just sprint kick over and over again. I just keep doing that. I missed. You know, it was funny when I was playing Demon the other day, and um, this David had a fucking legendary machine. I was messing up the entire team for him. Shit was hilarious, man. But my Demon gameplay is terrible. Like, on the on the units, I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll stop possessing survivors since I'm a good survivor player. <laughs> and I was like, I was fucking just dodging my way around those guys and just smacking the shit out of them with a machete over and over again. Funny as fuck, man. They like couldn't hit me. That, my friend. You're welcome. And the only time I get in cars in this game mostly is if I'm playing against a really good demon player. Other than that, I don't even complete. bother with it. Defend it to seal the breach I prefer just running out, world. running out in the open, and next. whatever happens, happens. I always remember that one time that Army of Darkness actually had a fucking... He had a, uh... Hunt and knife, and I possessed him and downed the whole team with him. One cooler. <laughs> I wasn't. I was in a car. They didn't follow me the objective the other day when that happened. I don't know what they were doing. Like they all sat and looted Lucky Valley Lodge. They were looting it for like a good 10 minutes as well. Get to it. Ooh. I think I put my body on the line for that. It was a close one. I only wish I could be with you to witness spawns of hell and dark spirits ejected from our world. Know that I am there in spirit. Ten more victories. Can it be done? Close as fuck it was. <laughs> like, really close. I seen you hop down. I'll send you an invite.
Yeah, I mean, put, take it from someone who never plays Demon, right? I found an Army of Darkness Ash that was Prestige 5, like, really early game. And all I did was literally fucking... Literally power possess a basic unit and downed him in, like, 10 seconds. Cringe thumbnail. Excuse me? I don't think anyone wonders why they queue so long. Combination of shit matchmaking and weak mentalities, I suppose. I don't nerf the Delta. It's too OP. Delta should have infinite health. Show the build on my lead ash. I think I have it screenshot so I can pull it up. There you go. That's the build I'm running on him at the moment. Uh. Hey, bring it up. I have 16, um, sorry, 26 points to spend there, so. Why is Amanda on lobby screen? Uh, it's because I played her yesterday. She was the last person I've been in my collection on, so. I thought I could hide. What a joke. The doge. No worries. It's the build I always run on him. It's pretty good. I don't know why, but I always see the funny side when uh, everyone gets in the car and then I just possess it. And just fucking them around with it. I always see the funny side of trying to catch up to them as well. It's just me though. I, I just, I just laugh when I play a demon. <clears throat> I just do it as a fucking bit of fun. This game ain't competitive. There's no need to make it competitive and pretend that we're gonna win every game. Like I play when I play a demon, I know fine well I'm not gonna win, so I just fuck around. Do an a la carte and flip every car on the map before you find the survivors. Yeah. There you go. They can't buddy block. Their car's already flipped. <laughs> I know. Per personally, I just ignore the cars. I, I just focus on my objectives on Demon. I don't really fuck around with the cars that much.
thought we would have insta queued us since we got dodged there. To be honest, they could just get rid of cars, like, out of the small map, at least. Well, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say cars is a big fucking issue in this game at all. <clears throat> Helicopters, man. So we can land it and just kill them with the propellers, you know? Kill all the demons and the deadites with the propellers on the helicopter. I mean, every time I look at my demon stats, I've, like, possessed maybe three cars all game. And that's just the fuck with the survivors when they're going on to another objective or something. But, you know, it's, it's all a mentality thing, I suppose. Uh, yeah, it does. Bad little things, it does. One car possession is by accident. <laughs> I've done that a couple of times. Well, that's why it works well with the blunderbuss because it only has one shot. Oh, you know, a crossbow, explosive crossbow. I mean, but it works with a double barrel like a boomstick. If you have the second pellet still in the gun and then activate your ability, you'll get the damage buff. From my uh, last chance on oh, no, every shot. Half the time the survivors will flip the car by themselves. That's me. People worrying about a car when I'm worried about who the best survivor on the team is. I just hunt supports all game. Shows up, it blows up. Yeah, still working on that. I gotta get out of here. Everything's gonna be all right. I'm here. Associate Professor of Ancient History, Ed Gettman, <clears throat> ready for action. They know all this talk about cars, right? I'm just going to say something here. So in the first, like, two months, three months into the game, I don't I don't recall, like, this much or this many people complaining about it. And then they still, like, they nerfed them into oblivion. Like, they, I think they reduced, like, what was it, half, half of the cars on the maps or something? And then they made them cost less to possess, and then they do more damage when they ram into survivors as well. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's, I'm just saying that that I don't recall back then when there was a lot of cards that a lot like a lot of demons were complaining about it that much. But 
But yeah, I've al I've always been a player who doesn't really use cars in any way. This is Professor Mod the Big Man. Movie. I don't really fuck around six. with it that much. I can never make amends for the evil I have unleashed. Transformers. I, I drive Optimus Prime. Spread. Autobots roll out. Follow my instructions. <laughs> Just sounds like map, Dead by Daylight all over again. Hide them from the demon. Gather the pieces to find the location of the Kandarian dagger and the lost pages of the Necronomicon. It's safer in the light. Bumblebee? Who's clicking? Who click it? If you play Demon Mode, you'd see how cars completely break the balance of this game. Your team has located the first piece of the map. A solid first step. Man, I've, I've had games where I've had like three survivors dashing around them getting the map pieces and cards and stuff, but I'm just like, I just go with it, man. I don't, I don't give a shit about it. That's what I'm saying. I've never, I've never seen a reason to like, really take it seriously at all. Just play a demon for a bit of fun. I know, just when I'm playing the game, I, I just play the best I can. I don't look at, like, oh, man, like, I'm getting absolutely dicked on because of this one character, or, like, I'm getting dicked on because this guy's got a legendary weapon. I just, I don't pay attention to shit like that. Otherwise, you're just going to give yourself a fucking headache and just never enjoy it at all. Like I said, it's just a mentality thing. For me, I, I personally just don't care. The only thing I find the most unfun experience in this game is book phase on survival. In fact, even book phase on demon, I don't even enjoy that shit. It's like, yeah, okay, I'm just going to whack this fucking, this page at the end of the game. That's fun. Time to let the boomstick do the talk. I know, man. This is why I don't do videos about balance talk, because it's just all bullshit. Game won't be balanced. I've said it a million times. It doesn't matter if you take cars away from the game. It doesn't matter if fucking survivors get... Or demon Surely gets infi infinite infernal side. energy. It don't fucking matter. The game will never be balanced, because they legit have RNG in the game. It's impossible. Weapon rarities exist. Pink fuck up grids exist. One game... A full team of survivors will have all pink fuck up raids. One one game they let re fucking won't have pink fuck up raids at all. They'll have loads of shems. One game they won't have any shems. Like this does it doesn't matter how much like people cry about <laughs> surfing on cars. Um, you, it doesn't matter. And if you want to be low accurate, it's Evil Dead. Survivors are supposed to win. Then I said it. End of. Would you like to ride my bicycle? There's always going to be something. Nerf Dead Hard. Dead Hard needs nerf. Add Bloodlust to this game, so the demon goes faster to chase after a car. Then we can just make this game into Dead by Daylight all over again. I just, I literally just fall asleep discussing balancing on this game. It's pointless. Damn Z, should have used a car, bro. Would it live? Up. 
I know when the next update's out by you fucking telling you because I'll get wrong. Nah, I don't know the precise release date. Medication All time. I can say it's soon. Soon, soon, soon. TM. I feel pretty good. I mainly run everywhere though. Like like I was saying, I, I rarely get in cars because there's just no point. Soon TM. Was that a nail gun? I thought it was a saw gun. You guys need to catch up because I don't want to get caught out fighting a power possessed as a leader ash. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for the for the trailer. Like, not gonna lie, I lost my last three games playing Demon. I had fun doing it. I had like over 50,000 damage and stuff, but I wasn't even prestige, so I didn't expect to win it anyways. Just, like I said, I play it for a bit of fun, but... I suppose if it's your main, then you, you're playing it every day, non-stop. Maybe you do get frustrated with it. Now holds the final piece of the map. The lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger are within reach. My plan will only succeed with these items. Um, I think you should see them. Two legendary weapons and so this is why I said the game can't get balanced. Come on guys, let's get in the car. I broke that one. Now nah, feels bad. That, my friends, is good. You're welcome. Did you not pick up that legendary revolver I dropped you? I had a dislike to the stream every time I get in a car. I mean, the the bit the worst fucking balance that I've seen in a game was uh, a balanced RNG, unbalanced, was fucking getting in, um, spawning on the big map at Fears and Farms, and there was three legendary crates. I've never seen anything like it. I don't know if they're it. I don't know what the percentage is. Someone would have to find it in the game's code. <laughs> Although even then, I think it's all server side shit. Close ranks, people. We got wounded. Oh, I play games where I'm like, where the fuck do these guys get the ammo and champs from? RNG saves the day. Survivors have triggered collection of the Otherwise, you know, if they didn't find all them shams, I probably would win the game. Oh yeah. Just uh, one of those things. Dirt nap. 
And people on Twitter complain about how overpowered Demon is. I don't pay attention to that shit. People are just morons. So people can just take games way too seriously. <laughs> People defending the David Neil gun on re on Reddit. Let's go. Looked like I made him explode that ability. Legendary artifact with power to burn undead flesh. A bit sweet, but the effects are instantaneous. What? You never saw a guy with a chainsaw in him before? But yeah, I've got a new merch store, guys, if he's interested. I'm not, uh, I'm not forcing it, though. Hey, Big Red, how you doing? I did my new merch store earlier. I didn't like my old one, it was really shit and I couldn't link it to my YouTube problem. <laughs> you still find the survivors when you're playing demons, man. <laughs> they don't know that you can vault. I always laugh at that shit. The ones that still don't realize demons can vault from that one update. The survivors have begun to collect the lost pages of the Necronomicon. Be vigilant. Spirits of the book will stop at nothing to halt this process. Broken balance bars, dude. Game is such a fake. Shoot first, I think never.
Check your men. I, I didn't even price the merch. That was just default. I think I can actually make them cheaper. Like that, that's just the default prices they give me. I didn't, I didn't figure out how to uh, uh, adjust the price margins or anything. <laughs> yeah, because it's a new, it's a new website that I've, I haven't used before. The pages of the Necronomicon, exceeding my expectations. I'm giving hope to my boss. I was thinking about ordering one of the the contrast hoodies because they look really cool. Like get the black and yellow one, or the black and gold one. The team I mean, has retrieved sick. the lost pages and the Kandarian dagger. Use them to put an end to the Dark One's reign of terror. Park the car on top of the ambulance. <laughs> That and yellow go hard. Yeah, I mean, I, I my whole channel now, I, I base it around like yellow and black and stuff. So it definitely uh, looks a lot cleaner these days. I was, I did do like a whole like blue and pink like type of scheme or color scheme around the channel, but I didn't think it was suitable for the content. So I just stuck with like black, red, and yellow being the the main colors. Five-year-old called you the N-word. We all turned into Keanu Reeves all of a sudden. Oh, well, I dodged there. Not gonna happen. Bad. Get good, right? GG's fellas. Um, he was higher level. I think he had max level. He's prestige five, right? I will 
end this recording, hopefully, knowing that if you're hearing my voice, and I think the new DLC will drop. Over the uh, and I'm gonna say world. maybe three weeks. Evil is conquered. Hate losing the, the book phase. You're Scotty. welcome, human race. I was prestige five pup. Oh, I got some nice spicy objective time there as well. Yeah, play, play bring is the worst on book phase, to be honest. I'm gonna put my light on. Am I interested in Killer Clown with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Yeah, I mean, I'll probably stream them. You know, just as like a side, a side gig to the Evil Dead. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I get I get bored talking about the whole game balance and shit, man. I've told you is what I think, and it's just there's a lot more underlying issues that could be solved with simple gameplay mechanics adjustments, and it's just you know it's not the whole question of like remove remove cards from the game or you know buff this weapon or buff this evil unit. It's not the case of that at all. Like, there's a lot of stuff needs reworked in the game for it to ever be close to being balanced. That's what I'm saying, man. It's just, it's a load of bullshit. The survivor gameplay could be very yeah that's what i'm worried about nesta like a whole hide and seek game again like dbd i don't know if i'll enjoy that but like i said it might be it might be a nice change of pace you know from playing this all the time although this game is always very fun to play it's just uh it doesn't hurt having a variety on your channel as well The way I see it, right, it's an ASIM game, so you know if you're playing against a good team, you're more than likely gonna lose. Being the the one. However, you're more than likely gonna win the game if there's a bunch of randoms in solo queue. That's that's just the, the the bottom line of it really. It's the same on Dead by Daylight. You absolutely massacred the shit out of randoms, but when it came to a Survivor Friends, you more than likely lost the game. I mean, there is shit on Survivor I think is too stupid, like split capping. I don't agree with split clap, uh, split capping. I never have, to be honest. <clears throat> I think it's pretty dumb that you can even do that. And the whole resurrection thing after an objective's done, again, I think could be looked at a bit because, you know, there's altars there for a reason. But again, if you do that, then you're going to have to adjust the whole game if you change mechanics like that. I mean, it's risky doing split cap, but at the same time, it's very easy very easy to do with a team of four people who are really good at the game. I 
And also that, like... Everyone, everyone, um... What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the, the way the devs, like, balance the game, so they focus more on, like, basic units being the... Uh, the most viable method of kind of downing survivors is kind of shit. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice when you play as your boss unit, you get a few downs, but boss units should be doing way more than what they are. Remember when, like, Nemesis on Resident Evil Resistance, you took control of him, you literally, literally fuck up, like, the, the team so bad. I always power possess elites when I play Elagos. I power possess basics at the start of the game, though. Like, if I find someone, I'm just like, oh, well, I, I guess I power possess that because, you know, there's nothing else I can do at that point. I still feel really shit that I did it, but... Because I know it's cheap. Pew cancelling? Oh, God. I remember that shit. Like saying dodges are cheap. Yeah. I just want the game to be fun for everyone. That's that's all I want. People, like, say I'm an entitled survivor player and stuff. Just because I complain about one phase of the game all the time. And it's, it's not that at all. Hey, DMAC, how you doing? Uh, no, I do Thunderstruck and then I spam heavy attacks with him. Complaining all the time must be utterly exhausting. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why you've never seen me ever do a balancing video. I think almost every other content creator has done a balancing video on this game. Like, I've suggested things that need to be balanced on both sides, but I've never, like, said, Oh, man, I've, like, done a video where, like, dude, they need to fuck off with boop phase. This is total bullshit, man. Like, look at this plague bringer dropping cauldrons and elites like there's no tomorrow and fucking hitting an inanimate object. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not, I don't do that shit, man. It's just, I've always found balance talk absolutely boring as fuck. Because at the end of the day, no matter how much I say, or you guys say, nothing will get done about it. Because it's all down to the developers. You can just go to the, <laughs> go to the Sabre support website and leave your feedback, and then that's it. I mean, there's frustrating things on Survivor side that you play against, but I just... I don't really complain about it that much as well. Like, the whole... You know, the Plague, plague Bring It elites fucking spam. Oh, broken as fuck. Evil is but about it's whatever. To a really bad day. Zadaku! She's gonna come out with a well and fuck us up. I know someone's out there. I heard you down in the cellar. I won't let you down, man. <laughs> I've had a lot of people do that in the past, Nate, to be honest. Yeah, I'm flattered. Now let's kick some evil ass. Exactly, DeMarcus. I mean, if you ever used to watch me play DVD, every game I was bitching. To be honest, because it wasn't so much like the gameplay balance or anything. It was the, the the fucking range on Huntress, like hitting you through objects and stuff. That was the stuff that really pissed me off, and nothing ever got done about it. So that's why I just I couldn't get away from that game fast enough. Like the whole invisible wall shit when you're playing Survivor as well. Like you were looping around a shack, and there would be like an invisible wall that would let the the killer catch up to you and mess you up. Like that was actually like win or lose situations right there. Like, that actually made you win or lose the game.
The only map I starve for infernal energy is Demon is the big map. The other two maps are fine. I sometimes have too much infernal energy to know what to fucking do with it. <coughs> but the big map for Survivor is not fun either. Because it's just not well RNG. There is some times where I'm like, oh man, I wish I had some infernal energy that like possess a certain unit at a certain time, but it's picking it's it's choosing your battles correctly, I suppose, with Demon, where it's like, you know, do you spend your infernal energy to place a portal here? Do you spend it to, you know, put a trap down or do you spend it to possess a car, you know? It's choosing the correct battles at the at the right time in it. Yeah, when I play as Demon, my AI do nothing but jerk each other off. <laughs> when I play as Survivor, the AI is absolutely fucking me over. Log entry six. I know now what I have unleashed onto this earth. And yeah, exactly. I okay, like there's there's fast methods this, of like leveling up quick on Demon on on this map and everything. Instructions to the letter. I have hidden several pieces of a map like, nearby. Collect I feel them like I, uh, the location I always do myself proud when I play Demon because I know I'm shit at it, and then I just, you know, sometimes I'll win a game, I'm like, oh man, fucking clap these guys. Long range. Oh, games where I get, like, over 50,000 damage, care. I'm like, fuck yeah, All let's go. Going down. Fucking dodged in game. Free win for me, I guess. Thanks. Goes towards my, uh, my lovely... I dare my lovely challenge. Close the breach. Now I only need but if by some eight more wins. You have. You have an... Oh yeah, I'd win. Did I have on last game? Did I have the win off last game? I can't remember. Does that count? It counts as a win, yeah. It puts my object... Uh, my win counter up. <laughs> <laughs> it was Rainy Kanda, his, his PC probably's crashed. Cool guy. Oh, you know what? He was AFK loading the game up and he probably realized he was Plague Bringer and didn't want to play, right? Might have been what happened. I'm gonna go for a quick pee. Chad's back. I'm gonna put it as one of my rules in the stream. We'll talk about game balancing. I'm gonna do. Make zero effort to find them on the first map piece, yeah. Unless it's Kanda, I don't really bother looking that much. Make that rule. Only I'm allowed to talk about game balancing around here. 
Why does my hoodie feel wet? The after day, Chad. Chillin'. Change that no fucking fighting line to a no fucking balance talk. No fucking balancing. Yeah. Just go just go to dead end on the big map and just fucking trap it all up. And get a shitload of levels on Demon. Oh, you got work in the afternoon? And be working late today then. Have a look. Do you like the stream, everyone, if you haven't already? You're pretty please. Um. Someone put a tweet out saying, send me anime boobs, please. I need a distraction. Interesting. They've added survivor activity hood on uh, DVD. So you can tell what people are doing, like healing or doing gens. Night tweaks, nurse changes, Eerie of the Crows update, challenge tracker, and more. <laughs> you need anime boobs. That's what someone put on Twitter. I don't even know who it is. I don't even follow them, I don't think. It's randomly popped up on my Twitter feed. Oh, I do follow them. Oh, they're a Twitch streamer. Okay. Yeah, makes sense then. The fuck was that? Oh, there's a PTB in Dead by Daylight. It is, well. Up oh, the updated wiggle system. What the fuck? I'm intrigued at this. Let's have a look. Survivor Activity Hood. See what your teammates are doing at any given time. In game challenge tracker. Receive progress updates on your selected challenges. Uh, improve queuing, browse the archives and install while you search for a match. Updated wiggling, this feature is coming out of beta with a few changes. Balance changes for the knight and the nurse. Updates to the Eerie's Accrual map to improve gameplay. Oh, is that it? <laughs> they made it easy to get the merciless killer achievements as well. You know, something that should have been done about five years ago. I'm not gonna follow you. <laughs> Imagine getting updates in a game. <laughs> if only, man. If only we got updates in this game as well, eh? I'm trying to see what they've done to the wiggling. <laughs> you can't shorten the carry time on it anymore by hitting grit skill checks. What a load of bullshit. Oh man. It's funny reading DVD updates. Hey Ray, how you doing? Every time I read it like that, it just reminds me of South Park. 
Hey, wait a minute. Oops. I'm gonna take them in the bushes. Yeah, it's, it's when the fifth graders want to get a picture of uh, a Stan, Stan's mom's uh, tits. Am I playing Amanda? No. <clears throat> That's just off yesterday. We had a game before, but the demon left or crashed. Brisk skill checks basically gives you old boil over now. <laughs> no thanks. Yeah, Demarcus, and that one guy just goes there. Uh, I totally want to suck your mom's tits. <laughs> Don't I get bored of playing the same survivor over and over? No. I just, I just have fun playing the game always. Uh, Leader Ash, man. Chad. I, I start my first game today was actually Pablo because someone uh, insta locked, insta locked Leader Ash, unfortunately. Up. Yeah. Still working on that. Hey, Sab. Yeah, I would have been in a game there, but the demon left. Maybe it's a disease. Before. Some kind of virus. Make time to party like it's 1981. Good, bad. I'm the guy with the gun. Uh, I love, I love South right. Park, man. I'm here. I never finished the fractured butthole boys. though. Miss me. It's just something about it. I just, I couldn't finish it. Like, I 100%ed the stick of truth. I got all the achievements and stuff on it. I fucking loved it. The second one, I just could never, never do it. You get burnt out playing Elagos or Evil Ash super quick. Ah, I like playing Evil Ash like over and over again. Like learning better placements for my floaters and stuff. You just watched Ash vs. Evil Dead just for Amanda. <laughs> <clears throat> My teams usually have two plus warriors, and I hate it. Why? The fractured bottle isn't as good. That's why. I think they just overcomplicated it. I don't. I didn't like the combat compared to the um the first game as well. Like I liked how simple the uh, the combat was in the first game compared to the second one. This is Professor Raymond. Noble. Hey, Bunny. Good morning. History will reflect that I am the wretched soul responsible for awakening a Kandarian demon. The Among Us character. To perform the following actions in order to prevent its further spread. If I don't take this, somebody else never will. played Among Us, never will. I will not. The first step is to gather the pieces uh, of a map that you'll find in my soul with that. The map will reveal the location of the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger. I played Fall Guys at least for about three games. Yeah, I, I don't touch any of that shit. <clears throat> Played Warlord last night and gave them all sweaty matches. I like playing Warlord. I probably have my mo most of my wins with Warlord, to be honest. Doing my elite build that fucks up the survivor's fear bars all the time. Morbius, Morbius body. I'm, I'm sure fucking dead. It's Morbid time. You hear playing against Necromancer, he spawns so many units. It, it's fun doing like an army build on him, definitely. As well, like reducing the portal cooldowns and stuff. Stuff is harsh. I do feel pretty good. Got a laggy server here. feels stiff. He does. Like, the, the boss unit definitely feels a lot more stiff than... I mean, the weird thing is with Elagos, though, but his boss unit is that he teleports everywhere when you, like, attack and it's quite annoying. It's like the neck cord on Elagos is broken as fuck. Not even. That, my friends, is. You're welcome. 
Your group has found the first hidden piece of the map. Keep moving and find another. See that, Deadites? I created. Oh, I was downstairs. For fuck's sake. I thought it sounded like it was upstairs. I always do that with this crew. Nothing this way. I feel like I need to pierce every hit or else I'll fuck it up. Yeah. I suppose that's how you're supposed to play him, I guess, rather than spamming just attack moves all the time. Bellagos. Oh yeah. That deadite had cake. Did you see that? Oh shit. Here's mud in your eye. Well, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Press to turn my flashlight off and I fucking drank a cola. First time I've ever done that. Yeah, I mean, I I always said I was gonna main Elagos before the before the game come out, just because he was from the TV show. And I thought he looked awesome. I think Elgos late game can be pretty fun, depending if you've got your boss unit maxed out, because you can like spawn your boss unit like a lot, be very fast. Join us! Oh, I just you ran all the way the down here. Damn it! The map. Revealing the location of the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dead. Who's popping cherries? They are key to your success. No cherry popping around here. Filthy. Not my first rodeo. Yeah, exactly. Trying to like do all boss unit builds on this game can be quite difficult as well. Like buffing the bosses up as much as possible in the skill tree. Unless you have the prestige, it's quite difficult. And it's also like, do you do it so you buff up every unit on your team? Or do you do it so you buff up the just the basic units and the boss units? Like, I, when I play Necromancer, I personally like to do that. Because I think his elites aren't great. So I like to buff up the basic units. So that way I can like get to my boss unit as fast as possible. My basic unit's being difficult to kill. Early game. Damn. See that, see that Deadite serpentine on me? Dude, you know what? I, <laughs> You guys do it when I play with you. You just literally try and revive when the boss unit is literally shitting on the person that's on the floor. Like, what are you guys doing? How you doing, Stefano? If you start objective before boss level 10, you might get it. The, the games where I get a level 10 before the first objective are usually the ones I win. Because I, I'll spawn Evil Ash as soon as I can. As soon as I get him with a Flawless down and I'm like, 1v1 in the someone, they're fucked. The like, that's it, game over. Stay close and hold your position. If it's not a Hunter, of course. I know, I struggle against Hunters when I play a Demon. Probably just because I don't put enough time into it. Though. Right tool for the job. Why is this demon on us like so much? 
me and Tommy just chilling with the demon over here. I do it out of love, Chris. You just want to be on the ground with me. <laughs> I get so frustrated when I'm like, use your brains, people. Run an objective. It's nearly complete. Just survive. I'll get resurrected in any way, you know? And people just... Three people are all just ganging up, trying to revive me at the same time. While there's a boss unit shitting down their throat. Oh, you want the, uh... Sorry, I didn't realize you didn't have an axe. Bro. Oh, I thought I had a boomstick for some reason. I was going to pop him with a boomstick and I didn't have one. The Warlord Deadite earlier had some cake on our ass. They all be, dri all be dripping in cake. Do you wonder if they'll add like multiple Warlords to the game? If so, who would you like to see in the Warlord category? Like from the TV show or movies? the lost pages of the Necronomicon, the rarest and most powerful artifacts in our world. Ow. Next team will be Baal. I think he'll go in the Puppeteer class. Yeah. I had a cold like already, but thanks. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm. I was messing around with the demon spawn for Baal in Blender yesterday, and they have like they actually have animations for those guys already, like fighting animations. They have a counter attack. That's why I thought maybe they might put Baal as a warlord or something. <laughs> the sus class the light, Him in play, bring it gonna be mad. I, I just can't wait to see the new update because like like I've been told by um by someone behind the scenes that it's going to be one of the biggest updates of the game so or oh, the biggest update yet so it's going to be an intriguing one what are you gonna do I just want now? a solid horde mode and I'll be happy as well an ash finale outfit and a horde mode I'll be fucking happy Can't wait for the updates, I know. The sad thing is that probably is gonna be updating the game roughly around done. like this other games being released. To the so be prepared to do battle. Maybe a lot of people might be going to play those games instead of playing this. So they're probably doing it at like sort of a bad time. Is he on you guys? Both you. Lifetime kicking evil's butt. Looking forward to the next update, yeah. I mean what we haven't had a proper update in this game since I'd say October, right? 
I can't end up. I mean, they got the prestige update in November, but. Now's the date for the next DLC when they do the Evil Dead Rise. That would be nice as well, yeah. Make it an Evil Dead week. Give us some news on the DLC on like Thursday or something. Give us a solid release date. There's meant to be a lot of content in the early quarter of this year though for this game, so... Shouldn't be too bad to like cover in the near future at least. I can't wait for the trailer. I'll probably just watch it after my stream. Yeah, the, the abomination is it from uh, the remix. I always want to see Lem as his own demon on this game, man. I think that'd be awesome. Having a pyro demon. Has potential to be something good. Survivors have taken the Kandarian dagger. I think someone this did a whole concept for that on Reddit. His demise. First quarter of this year is crazy for games in general. Yeah. Must now expel the dark ones from our realm. So I'm saying, and I've I've heard this game's getting a lot of content in the first quarter too. Mention any horde mode that's been talked about? No, unfortunately not. They will. They will probably be adding a horde mode. I have no idea when though. That's why I thought it might be in the next update with them saying it's going to be like the biggest update. Yeah. Adding a new game mode will definitely cement that. I have no idea when the trailer drops. It was roughly around this time yesterday, on like 45 minutes from now. I think when I was on stream. When they did the teaser. Chop, chop, motherfucker. Get out my face. Do I find this game a challenge? Some games, definitely, yeah. Always depends who I'm playing with, too. It's always fun, though. Depends who you're playing against, it depends who you're playing with on your team. There's so many factors. It depends on your loot. I just want to... I'm just grinding my prestige challenge at this point. I don't really give a shit. I'm just trying to grind through as many games as possible. Yeah, there's way too many factors, isn't it? It's crazy, man. Could be a game where I get like four pink book upgrades and that's it. Until I get the objective. Yeah, they're not actually even going for the boot, which is a nice change of pace.
you know who to grind next? I'm probably just going to play Pablo after this. Get all the ghost beasts. Go ghost beasters? Fucking hell. Ghost beaters up to fucking prestige 5 or something. Will I die in time? No, I didn't. <laughs> I tried to give him a free kill for not actually doing boot shit. I didn't die quick enough though. I had like 5 HP left. You mean David? Nah, I'm not grinding David, hell no. If you reach Toxic. This point in my Toxic for trying to give the demon a free kill. Reason. I choose to believe you've closed the portal. Mankind will never know what you've avoided. Oh man, I'm so close. Well, we had 27 wins there, or 28. I think 27. Six more wins. Toxic Streamer tries to give fun Warlord player a free kill, but fails miserably. <laughs> right back. Yeah, it was lagging a bit for me, El, with the pink fuck upgrades and stuff. I'm not a cheater. All your damage was delayed in actions, like dodge will often block, just because of the game. I know I've got I've got a hefty amount of spirit points. There's a reason for that. <clears throat> so I can prestige my leader Ash.
It's horrible outside. It's fucking raining. Oh, man. I keep forgetting to swap to my intermission screen. So we can chat. So we can chat and be friends. Oh. What's my hair doing, man? I don't know what it's doing. It's just sticking out. <clears throat> No, no news yet. Hopefully we get something soon for the new update. But yeah, there's my disc plates. I have Constantine and Baba Yaga up there. I've actually got like posters behind there. I should take down the Walking Dead ones and shit. I got a lot of goodies. Uh, no, I think it might be in like half an hour or something. I keep checking Twitter for the for the trailer. Oh, Warner Bros are doing the the new fucking. Evil Dead. I suppose that's another, another fucking IP holder. Another IP holder attached to the game. I think they should do away with the season pass. Just put content out and let people buy it. Let people buy what they want. Give us a marketplace as well. Like, imagine the amount of money this game would make if I had a fucking marketplace for skins and stuff. They're sleeping on it, man. Like, I literally think this game is a sleeping giant. It really is. So disappointing. Because pe people who are Evil Dead fans, like hardcore Evil Dead fans, will buy almost any outfit that drops into the game as well. Even if they don't play that character. Yeah, new original outfits. They've done some original outfits, to be fair. I just don't like even source material outfits and and all that shit. I don't know why they haven't gone a bit more hardcore on those. Some iconic outfits have been left out of the game. It's quite disappointing. Elagos with a top hat. Do I? Do you think a battle? Pa yeah, battle pass definitely. Mark a place in a battle pass. Like, instantly just makes the game like a thousand times better. <laughs> Weapon skins, yeah. Exactly. Weapon skins in the marketplace, too. You've got to keep it like Evil Dead themed, obviously. You don't want bright pink fucking like revolvers and stuff. Although, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> um. But, you know, I've always thought about doing a video, like a very short video saying the issue, the real issue behind Evil Dead the game, and literally just play the intro of the game loading up. Because there you go, that's the real issue right there. <laughs> a Dark Knight skin for Puppeteer. People run around with all Battle Pass shit day one. <laughs> Fully unlocked. That's it's the thing is though, people would spend money on that. People would buy the entire fucking battle passes. Cause people used to do that shit on DVD. Imagine the amount of money fucking behavior made from people maxing out the rift passes on day one. Like buying Oryx cells for that. I don't mind, like if I could have one wish. And it would be to sit in a room with the fucking higher ups for this game and be like, I just, I just want to know what their plan is or like, what the fuck are they doing? Sitting on such massive amount of content that they are not putting in the game. Like, do they not want to make money? 
because it just doesn't feel like they want to make money off this game. <coughs> Um, I've heard that's actually being discussed internally about the, the titles. Yeah, this 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 game doesn't have a lot of developers. It is a small team. It's nothing like tried. DVD. What a but joke. the people who do make it are AAA developers, so they can make stuff relatively fast as well. Demi, Demi Elgos with kitten ears. <laughs> kitten headphones. How you doing, Kate? I won't let you down, man. It feels like someone just They're walked over my grave. Because it's not a big play base. It, the thing is, it's not a big play base because it's their fault. <laughs> Hot tub party with Elagos. <laughs> Hot tub stream of Elagos. I don't believe all this voodoo crap, but I'll try anything at this point. The dash should have a yeah, Sam Axe. When there's Chuck evil Finn, defeated, Chuck Finley the outfit. already taken. I'm Chuck Finley man. is forever. They fucked the player base by doing everything wrong. I mean, you know, there's still a lot of positives that come from the future of this game, like Steam release. Steam release will get a massive influx of players. Switch release will give an influx of players. Xbox Game Pass, if they ever decide to go on there, will get a lot of players involved as well. Um, <clears throat> before they do those things, though, the current player base, they should be treating the current player base with a lot of stuff. So that way, once it does release on those platforms, there's a lot of shit in the game for people to like just start throwing money at. And then, you know, if you get money thrown into the game, then you have more revenue to get more people involved to develop the game. You know, it's just simple, simple fucking game service. But it's just not that. <sighs> Wait for Steam release for some easy wins as Demon. <laughs> Aye. The, the, the game will get a lot of players on, on, from Steam, though. I think Steam release might happen in, like, May time. And you'll buy, like, a special edition of the game where you'll have, like, all the DLC unlocked. That's already in the game. Like, a groovy edition or this something. Professor Raymond Novi. I am now certain that my recitation of the Necronomicon's passages has resurrected a Kandarian demon. I cannot rectify my error, but execution of the following instructions... When it went free to play on Epic Games, spirit. though, I thought it might be going to Steam soon. Search nearby for pieces I mean, to be honest, it can't be, it can't be easy to develop this game as well at the same the time. You've got to think it's on... It's on multiple platforms and, you know, you've got the IP holders blocking shit at the same time, like loads of red tape to go around. Being like, oh, can we put this update in right now? Or, you know, the IP holders need to look at it and being like, making sure that it's an, an update that can suit the game effectively. The survivors have acquired the first piece of the map. Take heart. Better. Stronger. Faster. Faster. Well, this game doesn't end up like Friday the Fame. I don't think it will. Like, I don't think it'll fall into the whole, like, IP holder shit. Like, taking it away from the game. Because they seem to be in good standing with the IP holders. For you, Chet. And the game did, uh, like, way better than they anticipated it would. So, that's always only good things that can come from that. Sam Raimi is demon. There. I 
I just can't wait to see that tweet one day where it's like, Chet will be a new survivor in Evil Dead the game. Oh yeah. That, my friends, is Chet is hype. You're welcome. Instant P5 on Chet. Do the wheels fall off, brother? Yeah, so Sam is actually a producer for the game as well. So they do um, consolidate him a little bit on things. Same as Bruce. Bruce is also like a producer of the game. So they, they still ask Bruce for things regarding the game. Chad and that JJ do to like polar opposites. <laughs> Uh, being positive creates positivity around the community, you know. Being negative all the time, you're gonna have a negative community. So, always nice to be positive. Oh, I guarantee you, Chet has already been made as a survivor. The group now holds an additional piece of the map. Well, and there's reasons why I know that, but <laughs> can't say it. <laughs> release check for thirty dollars. I'd buy it. Don't think, just drink. <clears throat> I know nothing about Ruby, apart from what everyone else knows about the uh, the, the leaks and stuff for Ruby. Good luck, Chad. I know it took me a while to get into this game, to be honest. With the final piece of the map in your possession, only the demon stands between you. <laughs> Evil Dead Pink Book Edition item. instantly unlocked the Chad Prestige of the 5. <laughs> and hey, Day. why not? Demon's only level five. <laughs> Poor guy. The big map for you. Not that I've got many good. I've only got two pink fuck up grids. Group has roused the lost pages of the Necronomicon, transmitting a psychic wave to all corrupted souls. Hold your ground. Not my first rodeo. If I 50 million spare points for like ten dollars, we'll hit the win. <laughs> can't it can't be Destiny 2, man. Oh no pay to win shit. Smaller versions of the maps. They are they are gonna be adding to the current maps in the game. Like I was told last year they were meant to be adding S Smart to one of the maps. I think was meant to be the cabin map, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, 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 a 
put, I'm gonna grab that after the objective. I need my objective time, so. Precious objective time. Most precious objective time. Uh, it's like any eSIM game, it's Survivor Friends side. Step closer to defeating the dead. Even then, when you play with play with friends, sometimes you don't even win. But yeah, you just have a better chance of winning. If, if I was playing solo queue on stream all the time, I probably would not win that many games. Ooh, a little fella. I don't know what he's been doing, to be honest. I, I still only have four pink fuck up grids. <laughs> yeah. Always forced to use light attacks on a chain, so it's very sad. Probably the AFK are trapping the next objective. If I did a QA stream, the only question asked would be is this game survivor side? Of oh, I tell you what, though, I'd love to do a QA with one of the devs for this game. I mean, I've spoken to a few devs around the game as well, like, asked them a few questions about things. Obviously, nothing I can make public, but you know, it would be nice if we could make it public the as well. Fall off. But they should be doing themselves, really. Like, someone someone from the dev team would be sort of the face of the game. Like, begun to collect the Kandarian dagger. Tim Willits, for example, dude just fell into the, the abyss. Doesn't fucking exist anymore, apparently. Collection. He never. He, he actually has not done anything, like, public for the game since before Kandar release. He possessed something before, he's definitely not AFK. Gonna be a grandfather before I load into the game. Yeah, what's up Ace, how you doing man? Why do you get in a car when I'm trying to kill you? How dare you dodge my attacks? You stand there and take them on the chin like a man. <laughs> Friend said he'd never watch me again because I ranked a man this C tier. Oh man. People need a real wake up and realize that Amanda already has one good perk going for her. She's just a casual hunter, like she doesn't bring anything OP to the table. Over time. I ace, nice one man. Imagine if Ace was secretly a dev for Evil Dead. It's because people just jizz all over damage numbers. An ancient weapon carved from human. Oh, hey. Still my boomstick. He runs away with it. How could you, man? The lost pages and Kendarian dagger are in your possession. You have all you yeah, need. Yeah, Ash is the best hunter in the game, I think. Back to the like, Amanda's not terrible, but yeah, she, she belongs there. 
She's just got too many useless perks compared to other hunters. Yeah, it is like, wow, well, man, there's no way Amanda can be C tier because I, I got 90,000 damage one game with her. But yeah, you can get 90,000 damage with any any hunter that runs last chance with uh, Blunderbuss, to be honest. First thing I'd do is fire Cal and secretly hire Chris. Why would you secretly hire me? Just to leak info all the time. This game could do with some promoters though. The boomstick do the talking. What does Cal do? <laughs> That is, the, that is a very, very good question. It's something we should be asking rather than is this game survivor sided? Use a double barrel on Amanda? What the fuck? That the awkward guy in the dev streams? Yeah. Well, there's two awkward guys on the dev streams. One's the dude with the glasses, and Cal is the other dude. Let's boogie. Small thingy gonna go. Uh, gonna go hard corner. The demon will stop it. Nothing to destroy. Yeah, I have no idea what this guy was doing, to be honest. He's a level 100 PC player. I think, I think Cal might just be... I know he works on multiple games. He doesn't just isn't the community manager just for Evil Dead, does he? That might just be the case, you know. Yeah, as someone said, all he like last last thing he said, he's like bragging about going to Japan or something. the right to just ignore evil dead which is what he pretty much does is even ignores its content creators i don't know who how these community managers get their jobs half the time like It's like they hire people who have no experience doing community management. Like I think anyone in the chat could do a better job at community management than this guy. With the recitation of the passage, the physical manifestation oh, yes. of this dark spirit. We're making strong progress. He'd be a fun community manager. <laughs> You're the Pixels community manager, dude. Oh, honestly, I wish I could apply for the position of the community manager for this game or something. I'd, I'd tell everyone to go fuck themselves. I wouldn't really like, but... 
Um, <laughs> it's funny they announced the horde mode xl for world war z and then someone quoted the tweet when they said it was meant to be end of the summer last year <laughs> oh i couldn't say it but man Dude, it looks so awesome though. Like, how many swarms of zombies there is? Holy shit. I'm definitely gonna be streaming some of that Horde Mode XL. <clears throat> XL Horde won't make it this year. It's It's been announced, dude. It's out on the 24th of January. Hey, Wise World, how you doing? Exactly, that would be my announcement, Demarcus. Kate's back, waving. How much longer till? I don't even have him prestige three yet. Where's um? What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, let's have a look. I always like to look on the LinkedIn for Saber Interactive Spain and see if they're looking for any jobs. So, one week ago... Look, I'll show everyone. <clears throat> it's very interesting that you go on these things, because then you can see what's happening, but... One week ago, they're hiring... Uh, a technical effects artist and a senior game designer. Designer. So, you know, saying that... With Evil Dead on the picture, it's kind of screams that this game has and even got a senior game designer involved in it anymore. They were hiring one month ago as well. Technical effects artists. Does it, it barely has over 150 employees. Jesus, man. Yeah, ever, like ever since the game come out, they've literally done nothing but like put posts for like hiring for the for the studio. So it's either a good thing or a bad thing, I guess. Whatever you want to take from it. They're dying. Everyone is leaving the shit. No one wants to work there. Yeah, well, um, Sabre don't communicate with us because they got a shitty community manager. Hey, Red Man. Evil Dead Game Pass exclusive. Prestige 1 Henrietta for free. Been scrolling through Facebook. So. Facebook's an endless cesspool of shit.
<laughs> All games are just getting left behind. Quiet Place is dead since months. Almost no one cares about World War Z. And then we have Evil Dead, the dead game. <laughs> it's true, though. Like, the promotions and stuff from Saber is just ass. The last thing that we got announced from Saber, like, about the game, apart from the World War Z thing, was, uh, they showcased the Space Marine game, right? I work with one of the devs at my local McDonald's. I'll ask him about the game next shift. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. IME for marketing. I've never been to a marketing school and I don't know how to market anything. But even I could do a better job than the shit they do. <laughs> like why is that why I don't understand in the whole game development business why everything's so hush hush half the time in any way. People love hype. Look at games like Warzone and Fortnite and stuff. Granted they have massive communities around it, but they actually fucking you know, they they always posting and promoting stuff. Don't see why most... Like, even payday developers have better fucking promotions than Saber. I mean, it was all red flags before the game even came out. How bad they were promoting this game. So they did that one video where, like, oh, development's coming along pretty nicely. And then, like, a couple weeks later, it got fucking delayed. Payday is hype and treats their community right. Yeah, there's always like one person on Twitter always talking shit to people in Payday too. Like from the pay from the Payday Twitter. He finally maxed out Kelly. Nice. I know, it's just pretty shit like we're seven months into the game's life cycle and we have queue times like this. Shouldn't be happening, man. When evil shows up, it blows Casual up. ten minutes queue. Yeah, still working on that. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying, Trivium. That like the game doesn't have a face. It doesn't have anyone. Get out of here. There's something moving like with the multiverses, they have the Tony before. guy. Like he's always tweeting stuff about the game and like what they're working on. Like there's just nobody like that for this game, and it's so disappointing. Like even even the I Dead by Daylight Twitter posts posts like stuff cellar. all the time. <clears throat> you gotta keep thinking. Why don't we all get together and roleplay Evil Dead? I'll roleplay Pablo. This book could be the most significant find of my career. I want to be the Necronomicon. How long games are as well? The players are there, but they could all be in games. Yeah, that as well. The matchmaking now is... Yeah. I mean, the, the whole... MMR slows down the matchmaking too. How disappointing. <clears throat> Are you guys just going to keep hushing each other? Or do I have to hush the pairs? I don't have much time, so listen closely. This Another is Professor Necromancer. Raymond Nobi. The following are steps to be taken in order to dispel the Kandarian demon. D 
deviate from them at your own before. hazard. Now I'm even less there are several pieces of a map hidden nearby. Gather them to ascertain the location you of the last it, pages Kate. of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger. You'll need them. The tool matters not. It is the warrior that strikes <clears throat> Couple of kids. Don't make me turn the car around. <laughs> Evil Dead group chat on my space. Now hold the first piece Let's of do my it. map. A small but strong step forward. Isn't that Tom guy from MySpace trying to buy Stronger. Twitter from Elon Musk or something? Bad. Oh, he's trying to take over Twitter from Elon Musk. Drive back to Got that legendary shovel. And two losses and queuing and watching again. What, have you been losing a survivor or? There's a thunder in my loins. You have no innocence, Kate. Still a cute survivor. Welcome. Go Bronson Cave. Why is there loads of shit in there? Two purples and one blue. All the loots. America Online. That oh, dial up oh. internet. Medication time. <clears throat> I even I had AOL growing up. Ah, till the wheels fall off. Oh, that shit was slow back in the day, man. It took like it took like an, a whole hour to download one song. <laughs> Blackberry Messenger was the way, man. BBM. <laughs> That's what everyone used back, piece of back in my day. Collected. Your group is making progress against the dark spirit. It's the con, Rob. No way, man. Yo. What up, con boy? Eh, it's a basic crate. We don't want that. <clears throat> we don't want no basic bitch crate. Uh, I had kick, but I never used it. Everyone used to just use BBM, so that's all I used to use. Add my pin. That one's for you, Chet. Ah, I feel better, stronger, yes. faster. All the pink fuck upgrades. Yummy. Oh, did you open up your Pokemon box? Did you get what you wanted in it?
be eat. <laughs> Got a cool reverse hollow. Nice. You get the Lego City set now. Man has fallen into the river in Lego City. You have the final piece of the map, revealing the location of the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger. They are key to your success. This and Skyline. <clears throat> That's my favorite car. Nissan Skyline GTR. I'll own one one day. <laughs> what a fucking joke. By the time I can even probably save enough money to earn one of those things, they'll ban every single car. In existence, that isn't a hybrid. Awaken the lost pages of the Necronomicon. Stay close and hold your position. Yeah, I get my license, no problem. To be honest, easy as fuck. I can just never be asked. My friends, Japanese police have them. You're welcome. It's time to move to Japan then. <coughs> uh -huh. Get myself time. a skyline and live the dream. Stream from Japan. Whilst eating sushi, you know. <coughs> Fuck is this guy doing? He's just chasing after Z, like, what the hell? you get back to hell, practice your aim. Oh, they finally released the trailer. Knew it. I told y'all it would be in half an hour, and it was. The little chap was having time of his life. What the fuck he was doing? Skeleton gangbang. Lego Batman stream because I've never played through them. My oldest is 27 and is once again working on getting her license. I'll wait until I actually see the thing in front of me. <laughs> the rarest and most powerful artifacts in our world. Driving is like really easy. Though. It's just uh. I just never be asked to even like bother doing a theory test or anything like that. It, Such a lazy person when it comes to stuff like that. I'm just like, ah, oh, it's too much effort, man. Well, I've got to go all the way to this place just to do a test. Nah. Way too much effort for me. Riley Reed. Now you're Johnny Sims.
Hey, Haw Bill, how you doing? I don't have space con. Got a full squad. No Amanda carries today. Because I know how much you love Summon Evil Dead the game. I oh, can't, you see, they announced Horde Mode XL coming out at the end of the month. Are you hyped for that? I'll give you the World War Z carries. Yeah, January 24th is out. You're welcome. Looks pretty crazy, you know. Hammer my legendary shovel. Yeah, yeah. Playing with your Lego. Kandarian dagger. You are one step closer to defeating the spirits of the book. I can't even grab any more ping fuck. I wish I could collect all the bottles though. Your team has retrieved the lost oh, my challenge. and the Kandarian dagger. Use them to put an end to the Dark One's reign of terror. Evil Dead Rise trailer is actually pretty good. I'll have to check it out. <laughs> Just fucked up a level 32 Alagos at the book. Who are you playing as, Chad? There's a lot of callbacks from the trailer. I'll have to watch it. and just took a heavy to the face of the enemy. Without a shield as well, like what? to the edge of the map in fear. That, my friend. There's a cheese grater in the trailer. I'm dead. Cheese grater match three. This 
guy trying to destroy the boot before the timer even starts. Unless it is destroyed by the demon, protect it. Dance. Explosive crossbow will be. I mark us, lad. Hey, Shelda, how you doing? Against their shit cheese grid. Jeez, man, I'd win. The trailer is up. Oh. I dare not assume you will manage to close the breach, but if by some chance you have. You have an old I've spent 12,007 seconds on an objective. I wonder how much that is in hours. Look at these weak survivors who need shemps. <laughs> I dropped all my shemps on the floor. I didn't even take one. I dropped all my shields for you as well. Yeah, I think I think Khan's playing with his Legos. I don't know if he wants to hop in. Y'all yeah, left. Pooping out amulets. That's the glory of uh I would play one, but I'm scared of the queue time, I'll be late for work. I don't blame you, man. How long our queue times are. I thought it'd be relatively fast being a full team, but uh I don't have a link for the Evil Dead Rise trailer. Oh, someone put it in the in the Discord. Thanks. <clears throat> Let's have a look, eh? Get my invite, Z. And oh, there we go. Now we can watch the trailer. Okay, I'll bring it up. <clears throat> Strong bloody horror violence. I know I'm stacked on spirit points right now. What's up, sis? L game theme. I'll mute it. I can still hear the game theme though. It was the perfect day. And all I could think about 
was how much I wanted to cut you all open and then climb inside your bodies so, <laughs> so that we could stay one happy family. <laughs> When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, What is this, Danny? I found it. What will I, I found be? it. Found it where? What she said to me. Open up now. You don't look so good, Mom. Nothing. Yeah, the dead eyes don't look obscure at all. The book doesn't have a face. <laughs> oh, some dead space too shit. Yes, she's great. Promise. You'd be a good mom someday, honey bear. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know how to lie to kids. <laughs> it is in a high-rise building, isn't it? Like in an apartment. Mom? Mommy's with the maggots now. <laughs> I don't know. It looks kind of weird <laughs> for being an Evil Dead, Evil Dead movie. I don't know how I feel about it. No comedy in sight. Yeah, I don't know, man. They don't. Yeah, they don't even look like deadites. A horror movie using Evil Dead's title, and then they just throw a chainsaw in there as well. Looks very. It looks less than mid. Demarcus. Demarcus just like the cheese grit a bit. Now we need cheese grit and mastery in Evil Dead the game. Blood so female with a chainsaw, aka me a throwback there. And the chainsaw was yellow too. Yeah, I noticed that straight away and I don't understand why he doesn't have the chainsaw in the game. We already have syringes. You know a cheese grit is gonna come now. Only me it could save this possible disaster. It could be a cool movie, but it's just, you know, it'll be a cool horror movie that's drawing the law from Evil Dead rather than it being Evil Dead, I guess. I don't know why they're wasting their, wasting their time trying to do, like, spin-offs and, like, Evil Dead shit when... Evil is about to have a really bad... They should just focus on getting an animated show out so we can have... We can have Bruce back. You have the comedy aspect there as well. The book was in the trailer, but I don't think it had a face. It also had teeth. I think it was the book from the remake, was it not? I wonder if the demon in the new movie will spend the first half of the film flipping cars. <laughs> when evil shows up, I'm dead, it man. Blows up. Yeah. Still working on that. I gotta get out of here. Nothing's gonna stop me. Everything's gonna be all right. I'm here. Something is out there. Something that forced its way. Uncle into Ash's our basement. World. Yeah, that's what I just said. What's that book? I found it. 
Are we going to see where he finds it? It's just, yeah. <laughs> Is it just going to fucking somehow magically appear in his, uh, in his apartment? I swear, if that's the law of how they get hold of the Necronomicon, that's just an instant fucking, like, 2 out of 10 movie. This is Professor Raymond Noby. History will reflect that I am the wretched soul responsible for awakening a Kandarian demon. And I beg you to perform the following actions in order uh, to I think it's five. five. I can't remember. Three or five. Draw a map and split it into pieces to hide them from the demon. Gather the pieces to find the location of the Kandarian dagger and the lost pages of the Necronomicon. Stronger. Faster. It ain't it ain't Evil Dead without Bruce, man. I don't I don't care what anyone says. I know the 2013 film was good as well. Like I enjoyed it for what it was, but you can't title something Evil Dead and then not have Bruce in it. Doesn't work, man. Doesn't work for me. It's not about the mutilating themselves or the dead eyes. It's more like you know them. They're, they're more their skin's more protruded and stuff like that. Like it doesn't look. You know, you look at Ed Getley and Evil Dead too. Then you look at that comparison. It's a bit weird. It looks worse to me. Like it looks too basic. They should have just did, did it with Pablo and Kelly. I think they could have carried it a little bit. Located the first piece of the map. Wow, Bruce. A solid first step. Your adventures, second one today. Anybody need a light? <laughs> I got a million of them. That one's for you, Chet. It looks sin yeah, exactly. What's this fucking bullshit? The survivors have collected another portion of the map. Fucking trap right there. Admirable effort, but there is still much to be done. Through the delta. Yeah. The final piece has been collected, making the map whole again and revealing the whereabouts of the Kandarian dagger and the lost pages of the Necronomicon. You know, I should have done that. I should have just stood there and went down instead of getting this car. Here's my 
squad. He yeah, ran past that axe. Legendary syringes. Don't mind if I do. Groovy dingus? Nah. No, no idea who that is. <clears throat> you have activated the Tendarian dagger. All manner of evil spirits will sense their imminent doom and attack accordingly. Take a look at this. Oh geez, dead eyes sound way better than the new ones. I don't know I don't know why they want to change things up so much. People don't like change, man. why this guy is so focused on use over there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know why he's wasting so much time over there. Just exercise the fucking basic AI. I'm dead. Freedom to allow the filmmaker to express themselves within the realm of the Evil Dead universe. I suppose is that. Is it? Is it right to? Uh, is it right to label it Evil Dead though? Not my first rodeo. I mean, you look at Army of Darkness, it's not called Evil Dead. It should have been titled something like that, yeah. You are in possession of the Cash grab. Dagger. Many have perished protecting this artifact. Till the wheels fall off. Yeah, Br Bruce wanted to call it Medieval Dead. I think that would have been a way, a way cooler title, I guess. Fourteen dollars for some milkshakes. Two milkshakes. I haven't had a milkshake in the ages. It's too cold for a milkshake as well. Hey, at least the movie's probably getting better promotion than the game. That, my friend, is so. You're welcome. 
Rather than being negative about, well, what's the positives here? You know, people like Evil Dead Rise, and then, you know, pick up Evil Dead the game, and then they have Evil Dead Rise content in there. I've got some banana yazoos in the, the, in the refrigerator. The lost pages of the Necronomicon. But they might be out of date, so I might have to throw them away. Stop at nothing to halt this process. What happened, Z? You hit you far away. That's what happened to me, dude. I was also getting spanked off like two AI units that weren't even doing attack animations on me. You're my boy, Z. You're my boy. He's going down. The flashlight clicking. What is this? Vitamins. It's time to dance. Yeah, I watched. I just watched it before this game. I don't know how I feel about it though. Time for a dirt nap. Couldn't dodge? Like what? Oh, I forgot the mace has this horrible animation lock where you can't dodge out of the fucking combo. Took so much damage because of that shit. There's gonna be two or three more trailers to spoil the whole plot. I just wanna know where he whips the Necronomicon from, you know what I'm saying? I found it. Team has secured the lost pages of the Necronomicon, exceeding my expectations. That's like me going, <laughs> where'd you get that legendary chainsaw from? I found it. Didn't say where. Armed with the lost pages in the Kandarian deck. It'll always be a mystery. You must now expel the Dark Ones from our realm. Bro, what? <laughs> the basic great fucking loot. RNG is so fucked in this game, man. Hey, you don't want the legendary shotgun? Tommy was doing that. The Necronomicon's evolving and changing shape. I could have swore the Necronomicon had teeth in another evil dead. I mean, I wasted shotgun rounds, so is it really toxic? You missed the beast, you can't get it off. Nothing works. It must be that then. I didn't know you went to the Lego stuff con. There is no 
doubt that the demon I spoiled army of darkness. The completed Necronomicon. I, I spoiled I spoiled uh, Ash vs Evil Dead yesterday for people apparently. People watching Evil Dead the game and playing it but haven't seen Ash vs Evil Dead. Sickening behaviour that. At this boy. Yeah, they'll be doing an animated probably. I think they're in talks for that. <laughs> I seen your flashlight clicking hell. I only wish I could be with Toxic. you to witness spawns of hell and dark spirits ejected Animated? Because Bruce doesn't want to play the character, no, but he doesn't mind voicing him anymore. In spirit. That, my friends, is how we do things in the Wolverine state. <laughs> Dude was annoying. I don't think he was annoying. He was laggy, though, for me, but that was about it. Oh, you know who it is. Uh, if they do it like Invincible style of animation, I don't think it'd be that bad. He sent me a clip. Oh. I don't, yeah, I know, I don't have you on uh, my friends list on Xbox. So it won't work. I blocked people being able to send me messages unless they're my friends. They're unless they're my friends. Nah, it doesn't even come up as a message request for me. Because I, I have it blocked so any friends can message me. Since I get people messaging me telling me to go off myself, you know. You're not getting a friend request. You're a noob con. Can't go hard on the shit talking like it was on the 360 days. Yeah, exactly. Get insta banned if she sends someone a swear word on Series X. I know. <laughs> That's why I just I don't bother with anyone messaging me anymore or anything. Can't be arsed with it. Too old for this shit. 
You got Tommy's noobs. Tom Tommy doesn't have his membership anymore. He's not allowed to play. Bad boy, Tommy. I'm over shit talking to messages. It's just so much effort and time wasted, man. I have life that I, you know, I'd rather be sitting playing more games than arguing with some clown. <laughs> I'm only joking, Tommy, man. Tommy is no longer the member wheel. Oh, I'm starving. I need to go food shopping yet. Yeah. I need to go food shopping when I'm hungry and it's not a good idea because I just see stuff and I'm like, I want to buy that because I'm going to eat it when I get home and I don't eat it. No, I just say it. If someone calls you trash, just say, hey, I love me too. Setting yourself up for failure. It happens all the time. I go I go food shopping after my stream when I'm starving and I end up just spending like an extra 30 quid on shit that I don't want. Seem pretty thin. How much do you weigh? Uh, ten and a half stone, I think. Ten stone, something like that. I am very skinny though. Surprisingly. With the amount of biscuits and shit I eat, I should be way overweight. Hey Luca, how you doing? Yeah, ten and a half stone. I, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's like... Hundred and thirty pounds? I don't know. Maybe it's a bit less. I, I I don't know what the conversion rate of that is. Skinny outside, fat fucking inside. Oh yeah, my my arteries definitely going to have some fur on them. Yeah, I've got I have got a rapid metabolism. That's why eating stuffed crust pizzas and like fucking beef dripping thick. Thick cut chips and everything, like, yeah. I think it's just because I don't eat a lot during the day. Like, I'll have like two meals and that's it. Yeah, so yeah, about 140 pounds then. About what I weigh. I thought I could hide. What a joke. I was close. I said one I said one thirty, didn't I? Let me have a look at the clip in the Discord. about to have a really bad day. Yeah, dude, that's what was sort of happening to me. But from the AI units, I was just getting hit off nothing. <clears throat> that's some bullshit, though. That's some bullshit. Hey, Robert. Or a tiny dodge. Did he just dodge us? Hey Damien, how you doing? Yeah, I seen it. 
I watched it before. Now we need now we need some Evil Dead the game news in ten minutes time, and then you know life life is complete. It's been a good strong Evil Dead day. Doubt it's gonna happen though. <clears throat> Hit kids enjoying themselves on the net these days. Kids these days, man. I may have been dodged twice. Should be insta queued into a game because of that shit. I'll wait for some random why you wouldn't survive Evil Dead video now. <laughs> what makes you think you're gonna get one of those? What do you think of the trailer? It looks like a solid horror movie, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't label it Evil Dead though. I don't come. I don't come out watching that trailer thinking, "Oh man, this is Evil Dead." And aside from the chainsaw and the book being when evil shows up, a thing in the trailer, up. yeah, I'm still working on that. The Deadite design doesn't look right for me, as well. The person made one when they announced the Dead Space remake. Why you wouldn't survive Dead Space? <laughs> There's something moving amongst the trees. Or is it the trees themselves? Triple leader? Ew. Ew. Yeah, I'm flattered. Now let's kick some evil ass. Maybe it's one day. We'll do a triple leader support Ash game. And it'll be a, the most broken meta in game existence. Evil Dead reboots don't have enough Kandaria monsters in them for me. Possession is not enough. Yeah. They just possess like one random person and then that's it. Also. Also a fact. Especially when you had like. Ball and. Elagos and you know. I know Characters now like that, that from the TV show, the earth, demons, and that I will die for my transgression. If you're hearing this, the future is in your hands. Follow these instructions to the letter. The first thing you will require is a map to the lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger. The pieces of this makes it seem more realistic and scary. Wait, this is Evil Dead we're talking this about. Too much <clears throat> when has it ever been realistic or scary? Your group has found the first hidden piece of the map. Keep moving and find another. Ba, 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 ba. It's like making something. That hey, isn't. if I can hold it, I can slay a deadite with it. Sledgehammer. Till the wheels fall off. Gotcha, didn't Sucker. Hey, Robert. Member for five months in El Hefe. Five months, I say that's pretty groovy. My collection is coming together nicely. I just ordered you the Deadite Pop. A late Christmas present from yours truly, the Donor Wheel. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> Some hypes for Robert, please. Yeah, you're catching up to me on that, on that Evil Dead collection, eh? Catching up to me. I'm gonna have to get some of the uh, the NECA figurines soon as well. I think this is the first playbringer we've had today. What the kicking evil's butt? Look, is that lag? Hey, evil! What my butt? 
My guy's teleporting every time I do a finisher, I don't like it. I don't like it, man. Not my first rodeo. <laughs> Still molding about clicking this guy. Too annoyed to dig get teased like that, I will send him some sorry, I guess. Keep it close and he was doing like the, the infinite sprint shit with me, but I just got in a con. That's it. That was the end of it. It's whatever, man. Quick breather, and then I need to keep moving. Everybody does it at this point. It's safer in the light. Clicky clicky. <laughs> Why is there a sword dropping on my head? The group now holds the final piece of the map. The lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger are within reach. My plan will only succeed with these items. Those are next, but I've got something on the way. I know you don't have in the collection the handmade replica of the Evil Dead cabin made with real wood. I've seen those on like uh, on the shop app in Etsy. They look pretty cool. But yeah, I don't have that. You're right. Do you have an Ashy Slashy though? No. <laughs> I actually I have a signed steel book. Of Evil Dead the game by by Bruce Campbell as well. Just to flex even more my Evil Dead collection. I know, I never thought I never take L as a flashlight clicker. Oh, I feel better. Oh yeah, lifetime of kicking evil's butt. This person's called Feanor. Feels like I'm gonna go on a quest with him on World of Warcraft or something. Feanor! Yeah, I thought it was a bit weird he went and like focused you guys instead of going on the objective. When you get back to now, back to the game. Where's Daddy's sleeve? Don't think that's a question you should be asking on the internet. God knows what responses you're gonna get. Reddit sends me notifications for fucking Tinder and stuff, and I've never been on the Tinder Reddit in my life. And for like games like Call of Duty Warzone, I'm like, what? Legit, never ever been on those Reddits ever. Such a weird, shitty app, Ed. Reddit, like I don't, I don't rate it. Survivors have triggered collection of the Kandarian Dagger. Congregate inside its aura to speed the process. Why is it just a legendary boomstick casually lying on the floor then? Wow, that took off so much of my health. Oh, the, the tree outside of mine's fucking snapped at the back.
That was like the face of death, that fucking Mia running up to me with a machete. I was like, well, I'm gonna die. <laughs> but like Ralph Wiggum, I'm in danger. <laughs> Oh, having fun there. I didn't want to. You have obtained the Kandarian dagger. Legendary artifact with power to burn undead flesh. Till the wheels fall off. Oh, they didn't even tag that crit? Like, uh, trap it? Did they trap this one? What the hell, man? See? Solo queue, Cheryl plays. Oh, sounds brutal, man. Uh huh. Medication time. That one's for you, Chet. the lost pages, striking terror into the black heart of evil. Expect resistance. I'm just chilling with this gut ball sledgehammer, like. P5 Mia, and she was possessed running towards me in the last objective. I'm gonna shit myself, man. I just stood there and just, like, accepted my fate that I was gonna go down, but I think, um, I think Z exercised her. Yeah, it didn't do anything because. It didn't do anything because we were in this cauldron radius, which said uh, doesn't do much bounce bar damage. See, there it actually drained it quite a bit. Kicked him in the nets. The lost pages of the Necronomicon. Yeah, possess me at prestige five machete running towards me as a leader ash. I was just doomed. Both the lost pages and the Kandarian dagger have been collected. Now, made some nice fucking progress today on on the challenges. I think I could prestige him after this. I cost all my spirit points though. This is it. yeah, she's possessed right now. She's going to be killing everyone. Oof. Seeing Zed's health there. I was getting worried for a second. The fuck was that missile, man? 
coming at me like a fucking bolo. I'm the Mia. <laughs> you wish you were that good. Demarcus. Could only dream to have a character prestige five. Nah, it's just a death trap for a machete on her. Work, Jack. Nice. Necronomicon is complete. Defend it to seal the breach between our world and the next. Sell box on 22. No e book defense. What was? Fuck him up. Oh, when the cauldron is on. Yeah, that cauldron didn't last two seconds. I hate that fucking spin attack, man. Like, I can't even get a light off in time. I don't have anything ranged like to shoot it with either. So I dropped my ammo. My ability clapped all them skeletons as well that were gathered around the cauldron in the booth. Just knocked all of them back. I, it's impossible when I don't have any bullets. <laughs> All I can do is try and get a light off on him. GG's man. Didn't stand a chance. It might be prestige time. It's a trick. Get an axe. We'll end this recording hopefully, knowing that if you're hearing my voice, you have triumphed. It might be prestige time. Let's see. I still gotta level his ass up. I know, that's what I'm saying, man. Bare minimum L. Bare minimum. I think the boss unit's the only one that goes down and dies sometimes at the book phase, right? At the end of the game. Uh... Look at my spirit points just dwindle away. Hey, we got an extra skill point now, though. <laughs> Brutal. 42,000 to get skip three wins? That's a lot, isn't it? I'm skipping this shit, man. Take that. Bye bye. Easy prestige. Let's go. Hype. We got the new Screamer. That still cost me like nearly 600,000 with how much I grinded this guy, too. Well, to be fair, I did level him up to level 27 as well. 
Oh. oh god. Look at these challenges, guys. 1.7 million damage as a leader. 1,170 finishes. 690 headshots. That one's not too bad. That Looking at that, though, I just... I mean, what, what do I even go for? The finishes? Fair enough. The damage, though? The damage isn't going to get anywhere with the finishes. I mean, finishes and headshots are the only two, isn't it? <laughs> DC. Nothing, just play the game like I do. I hyped. I got in Prestige 3 today, though. I thought I wasn't going to get it done. Yeah, 1.7 million damage is, is El Jefe. Like, what the fuck is that, dude? Combined with 1,170 finishes. Nah, it's impossible. I mean, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but like... That is a lot. That's like a month worth of game time. Easily with these four challenges. Because of the way the queue, the queues are right now. Hey, look. We've got the new Screamer. I, I, feel, I feel cozy now that I have this guy Prestige 3. Look at that. Prestige 3 El Jefe. Prestige 5 Army of Darkness Ash. And these guys are Prestige 1. I'm being a productive survivor. Challenges finished themselves. Eventually, yeah. 81 matches required. That's like... Yeah, exactly, dude. <laughs> Complete 81 matches. Holy shit, man. Alpha Prestige. I need to do a new Alpha build, to be honest, because I haven't done one since he's had changes. So, I mean, it will be the same build, more or less, but... It is a bit different because of Awful Dodger, though. I've got points in that. I do want to play some Arthur at some point, but I really want to get El Jefe Prestige 5. Hopefully for the Ash vs. Evil Dead DLC, because I know he's probably going to get an outfit. I can rock that shit with a Prestige 5 leader, Ash. Anyways, I'm going to end it there, guys, because i got to go food shopping. I did say I was going to end it a bit earlier today, unfortunately. Um, but Ash, yes, I need stuff. But I hope you guys have fun. Whatever you're doing for the rest of the evening. I will be back tomorrow. Uh, probably continuing the El Jefe grind. Gonna get that. Gonna get him done. Just in time for the DLC, hopefully. That's my goal, and anyways. But yeah. It's me. I will uh I am the solution. Catch you guys later. Have a good one. Thanks for the, the games, everyone. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for the, the memberships and stuff as well. I will catch you guys next time. Take care.